for the rear half, just put your jack right underneath the axle on the differential there. That'll raise the whole rear end up and then you can find a whatever sweet spot you like on the frame. I usually go right in front where the frame dips back down, goes underneath the cab. That's usually where I do it. On these uh, short wheel bases like this, it can kind of teeter if you don't get it just right. So be sure to be careful when get it in the right spot. So you'll have instructions for the rear U-bolts just like you do the uh, the front spring spacers. So well, everything is on there that you need. But one of the important things is when you're putting it together, notice that this piece is taller than this piece, so it's tapered forward. And that is what you want to face to the front. And what that's for is to give your drive line the proper pinion angle. So they went ahead and engineered it so you wouldn't have to do uh, any any shimming or anything. Uh, years ago when I was doing these you had to shim them and put your angle finder and all that on it you don't even have to do it with this for these little for these little kits so um, we're gonna go ahead and get these u-bolts off unbolt the shocks and uh, we'll lower the axle down get ready to put in the new spacers here and in the, the shocks let's just dive right in on the action You know, you work on these things, there's always something stupid like this that slows you down. Always be prepared for it. It is happening. It happens to me every time. Alright, so I finally got that loose. All you want to do is make sure you got your jack underneath the axle. Just tap that off like so. And then pull your old U-bolts out. Keep up with this bad boy. Nuts and washers on the old U-bolts. Throw them out of the way. All right, so now we'll pull this bottom shock mount off. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one too. Uh, you'll see in the directions it says to unbolt the bottom mount, but not the top, don't remove, but we are going to remove it because we got new shocks. Attitude adjustment. Bottom of the shock removed. Go ahead and remove the other side and then we'll lower it down. All right, now that we've got both sides undone, that was the worst set of U bolts I've ever dealt with in my life. I mean, whoever put those on ought to have their ass whipped. I ain't kidding. Anyway, moving forward, we're going to go ahead and put our new blocks in here and our new U bolts on. So remember when you do this, you want your taper to go forward, like so. All right, so this goes down in your axle, and then it's got a hole on top for your bolt here on your leaf spring. So just make sure you get that in there properly, and everything will be good. Uh, taper forward. You want to be careful, I've got this sitting on a jack stand, it's just kind of chilling there, so 
Um, I've got jack stands underneath just in case it falls, but you don't really have any support and I don't have, you know, a lift or anything to put this on. So if you're doing it on the ground or concrete like I always do, just be sure you've got something underneath it where it doesn't just fall and you smash and break a finger or something silly like that. Then bring our new bolts down. put it on the other side as well that way we can start working with it so now it's just a matter of putting it back together the opposite of how you took it apart gonna get our new u-bolts in our new new washers and lock nuts these come with the nylock style gonna get these on and then we'll slowly just start raising up that axle so we can get this positioned correctly. Because you can get these off and you're gonna wish you'd have never put the lift on. And it has nothing to do with just the lift, it just has to do with the axle. If you were changing U-bolts or lowering or anything like that, and you, you pull these things off, you don't get them on there right, you're gonna regret it. So, Oops. Now make sure on this plate you put them in the grooves. That's how it clamps down on top of these springs. So make sure you're putting it right inside these grooves here. You can see the little ripple. Now we pointed the pin down, which goes into the hole of your perch. And then there was a hole here for the bolt of the leaf spring, which goes into the top of this lift block here. So now we're all set. We're good to go. We got that in there. We can put some tension on these here just to raise it up since we know it's where we want it. And then we'll go over to that side and do the same thing on it. Gonna just slightly run these U-bolts up just to keep us in the position we want to be in. That way when we go to the other side, this side doesn't come out of square. Okay, so before we move to the other side, let's make sure, see how that's kind of trying to pop out and so is that. You might just give them a little tap back in their place. A little love tap. And then, notice right here, that we're, our little uh, bracket's a little bit off, so we'll just tap it this way after we get, uh, we'll look at that stuff after we get them both snugged up. up where we need them. Those snugged but not torqued but they're up there good you can see how the blocks sitting where we kind of where we want it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Go ahead and get it snug and then we're gonna replace the shocks and then we'll raise it up, put some tension on it, and we'll really torque everything down. Put the wheels back on and set her down, see how she looks. I want to run them evenly. So you'll see me just kind of cross around. And what I'm doing is one, like I said, I want to make sure that 
we're getting this roughly where it used to be. You can see I got that back covering where that rust spot was where this was sitting. And you want that block sitting level to where it's just like the perch was in, in stock position. So you just want all that sitting like it was so you don't throw your pinion off, that pinion angle, which could tear up your U-joints. And you don't want it, you don't want your axle cocked sideways where you're driving sideways down the road. You can start wearing tires and gears and everything else out. You just gotta make sure that's in there the way it looked before. And um, put your bracket down here where it was and just get this all squared up and flush. New blocks and bolts, good to go.